Hi, and welcome to a very different kind of video, the kind of video that I have literally never done before, because my YouTube channel is about video games for the most part. But I don't just play video games because I'm a massive geek. And during the lockdown period, and quite recently, realistically, um, I've got back into Blood Bowl, the board game from Games Workshop. I used to play it an awful lot as a teenager, and they released a new version of the game not too long ago, late last year, I think it was, something like that. And I've bought several teams already because I really like the miniatures and I'm getting back into learning how to paint again. But when I saw these guys, the Crypt Guardians by Punga Miniatures, a Russian-based, a Russian, Russian and German, if I remember correctly, sculptors on the team, I ummed and ahed about getting them for an awfully long time. And when I went onto Google and YouTube to see if I could find out anything about what the miniatures were like, how easy they were to put together, what they looked like painted. There's very little. Like, there's really very little. Um, so I kind of rolled the dice and took the chance on them. And the rest of this video is going to be me looking at what came in the box what the miniature quality is like what they were like to put together but because this is a video games channel um i don't have like a top down camera or a gopro or anything like that so most of the footage for the rest of this video is gonna be recorded on an iphone with the audio quality to boot which means that the 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 level of my voice is going to be all over the place there's not a lot i could do about that um i thought i'd recorded all the video in 4k i thought that i i don't use this for filming the only thing i've ever used this for for filming was for, for my ps5 unboxing thing so again apologies for the quality of the footage and the audio but you sh I, i've i've messed with it just enough that you should be able to to make out what is going on if you just want my thoughts and don't want to watch the rest of the video absolute steal super impressed with these miniatures are they cheap no they are not cheap miniatures but i think i'm gonna have a great time painting them at, at the end of the day the whole real reason for taking up this hobby again was to do something that wasn't video games and wasn't staring at a computer screen for however many hours a day i play video games so Hopefully, if you are searching on the internet for some information about, well, how many pieces do these resin models come in? How easy are they to put together? And so on and so forth. Hopefully, this video will help you because there was literally nothing that I could find for myself when I had these questions. And when you're looking to spend $100, $165, is, which I think is what this team should be, but on a discount as of recording which is what the 16th of september today that's a lot of money to not really know how easy things are going to be to put together keeping in mind that i'm six foot four and i've got big hands and i had very few problems with these so if you're smaller than me and have smaller hands and more delicate hands which to be fair not difficult you should be fine with these on with the rest of the really kind of iffy video footage. Sorry about that. So, I don't have an easy way of doing this uh, because realistically, my camera setup is purely for recording my face on videos. Um, if any of you are Blue Bowl players, 
chances are when you've been looking for third-party teams, you've uh, you've heard of Punga Miniatures, and uh, they've got a really nice kind of undead team. But one of the things that I've not been able to find anywhere on the internet is, well, what do these things look like when they're not assembled? You know, how big are they? How many pieces do they come in? Are they really difficult to put together? So I figured, well, let's take a look at the actual box. Whoa, that's one of the... Uh, the flesh golems. I love the fact that they're all in individual bags so that you can Yeah, these look pretty pretty robust. I was I was thinking because I bought some of the um the succubus miniatures Amazon teams and thought well maybe they're they're gonna be a bit small and fiddly to put together but actually these look Pretty substantial. And because they're all in separate bags, they're in lots of little bits though. What is that? That's a zombie, I think. Is that a zombie? Yeah, they, they are quite small though. But individual bags with what? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five pieces each. Uh, what is that? I don't know what... Is that one of the wraiths? Coming out of the tombstone. Uh, right, that is one of the mummies that I bought. Those are fairly chunky. To be fair, though, mummies in Blood Bowl are, like, really big. So that makes sense. I think that's one of the whites. Yes, that is one of the whites. I'm really, really hoping that these are easier to stick together than the, the Aztecs were, because... They were an absolute pain in the backside. That's the second mummy. They're chunky. Like, super chunky. I like those a lot. I kind of actually wish that I'd ordered the Tomb Guardians. Ooh, that's nice. Technically speaking, that is a turn counter. But actually, I might stick that to a base and use it as the ball on the pitch so it's nice and easy to see. Uh, that looks like a ghoul. Yeah, I think that's a ghoul. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and yes, I did order loads of these. This guy's got a cape. Why has he got a cape? Oh, that's the other, um, the other white. I was going to say, I couldn't remember having capes on anybody. So we've got a couple of undead balls there by the look of it oh man I didn't realize I'd ordered this much stuff mind you I didn't expect them to come into in quite this many pieces I don't think that's uh, another ghoul uh, that's a zombie so they they all seem to have very obvious bits where you can slot them together. You know, they've got these nice little triangular plugs. One of the problems that I had with the Amazons from Succubus is that a lot of them involved sticking their arms on and there the were no kind of methods for doing so. This is the other werewolf. How many bits is that? It's really difficult to tell, actually, when you're looking through a camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, everybody... Things seem to be in about five pieces each. One, two, three, four, four for that one. But just having these little sockets for things should mean 
that I don't screw things up because to be fair I'd never pinned any miniatures before uh, and I had to with the Amazons um, I, I ended up breaking my pin vice actually uh, what is that? Oh, that's the other wraith, which is kind of in the stocks. They're going to be really interesting to paint. I'm quite looking forward to that. Keep in mind, I'm I'm very, very kind of novicey and basic with these kind of things. Got uh, turn counters? No, not turn counters. Reroll counters. Rip. What's this? Uh... What is that? Another ghoul? Yeah, that's another ghoul. How many ghouls did I order? Oh, four, just in case I wanted to... Um... Yeah, in case... D depending on whether I wanted to do a, um, a necromantic horror or a normal undead, whatever they're called, team. That's a zombie. What else do we have? Yeah, that is another ghoul. And this, I think, is the skeleton star player with the fiery hair. He's got multiple um, head possibilities. No, multiple arm possibilities, if I remember correctly. So you can choose which one you use. Uh, oh, that, I was going to say, that can't be it, because we're still missing... Shunk! Another Flesh Golem. I really like the Flesh Golem designs. They remind me very much of the... Um, of what the Necromancers in Diablo 3 summon. But they're massive. They're going to be, like, really fun to paint. It was actually them that... Uh, that got me interested in the the Punga team in the first place. So, are they cheap? No. Do they take a little while to arrive from Russia? Yes. Uh, are they better than the Games Workshop uh, necromantic teams? In my opinion, yes. I'm going to go and uh, see if I can put one or two of these together and... Uh, I've got no way of doing kind of time lapse or anything with the the equipment that I've got. But uh, give me a sec. I'll stick a couple of them together, and then we can see exactly what they look like, and uh, offer my feedback and thoughts on how easy they are to assemble. Because I couldn't find any of this information online at all. There just wasn't any of it. So, back in a mo. So, just stuck together the first mummy just to see what it was like. And here he is. Absolute ease. Really, really easy to stick together with a little bit of Loctite. Using the uh, super glue on one bit, a little bit of water on the other. And this is him stood next to uh, the new Black Orc Varag Ghoul Chewer from the, the Blood Bowl box set. Interesting to note is that the mummy has to use a 40mm base to go with that wide stance. The piece is really, really easy to put together. Nice, I, I, I won't say completely seamless, but pretty darn straightforward to, to sort out. Varag is kind of chunkier. But very clearly, not as as tall. Super duper impressed with that mummy. I'm going to uh, take a look at another couple of models just to see how how they hold up. Next up, flesh golems, and holy crap! These guys are big. There is no mistaking. What these guys are supposed to be on the blood bowl pitch. Let's just bring the uh, the mummy in. Absolute beast of a miniature. So cool. 
Um, I've only white tapped the head on because I know that getting to some of that skin behind the horns is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, the the seams on the flesh columns are a little bit more obvious and I had to do a little bit more cleaning work in order to uh, to socket them in properly but again they stuck together with no real issues whatsoever they're huge though even somebody with as little skill as me is going to be able to do uh, a half decent job on that just because they're so big but yeah really really super easy to stick together and really cool models i'll just compare them to varag absolute units obviously if they get stunned they're going to occupy a lot of board space when you knock them down but hey maybe just replace them and uh, stick a, a, a token on there instead for them might be easier it's probably a good time to uh, to stick together one of the smaller models i think for a size comparison a little bit worried about this one this is one of the the wraiths it's uh that one that's what he's supposed to look like so uh hmm yeah, we'll see how this one goes. I'd forgotten about the wraiths. Absolute doddle. Don't know what I was worried about. Slotted together really, really easily. I had all of one hiccup with it, and that was the fact that there was a little bit of uh, stuff that needed cutting off on the actual underside of the base there. And I, I was just worried that I was going to break everything off. That hand, which was separate fitted into that socket with with basically no effort whatsoever really really straightforward to put together obviously a much more delicate model than the flesh golem and the mummy and varag to an extent but a much more kind of normal looking size in fact the the base seems too big for it but i, I want to try and keep as many of my Blood Bowl miniatures on the, the 32mm bases as possible. Are they 32 or are they 28mm? They're 28mm, aren't they? 28 and 40. Um, again, really, really nice sculpt. Next up, Werewolf. There are two werewolves in the team. There's this one, which is my favourite of the two. And there's that one, which I don't really quite like as much. I think the problem, if there is going to be any problems at all, there may be, there may not be, is going to be with sticking on the tail. But we'll see how it goes. So one, two, three, four, five parts for the werewolf. Hmm, fingers crossed. So I've got to admit, the werewolf required a little bit more work. This arm that was touching the ground uh, required a, a weird chunk of sanding and cutting and filing just to make make sure the joint was reasonably flush. The the back shoulder plate, plate even, I'm not a uh, a huge fan of that seam there and how that sticks together. Arguably, it could do with a a little bit of filling but that is outside of my skill range the tail stuck in okay how s secure it will be don't know uh, interestingly enough he does seem to require takes up the entirety of that base but he's, he's still a nice chunky model he's got a good feel to him it's weird i thought he was going to be like massive in comparison to the wraith but the wraith actually is a little bit taller Varag obviously dwarves him, as he should, as do the Flesh Golem and the Mummy, but still a really, really nice, really nice Mini. Super pleased with that. 
I think of the two werewolves that it's my favourite of the two models, but uh, we'll see what it looks like. Painting him is going to be great fun. I have no idea how to do fur. I've not had to do fur yet. So that's going to be a, an interesting one. But I, I'm overall, I'm really, really happy with these minis. Going to try and uh, stick together something even smaller now. Joy! Next up is one of the ghouls. This one's in four pieces. And I think, yeah, it's uh, it's this one. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Woo! And while we're at it, let's actually stick together one of the zombies as well, because I think these are the most spindly and tricky things to put together, the ghouls and the zombies. Fingers crossed! And there we go. We got the ghoul. He looks really strong, actually. Very ripped. Probably going to bash your skull in. Oh, we've got a zombie. The zombie was probably the most fiddly thing to stick together. Sticking its arms on was... I mean, it wasn't terrible. You know, they're socketed together quite nicely. It did need a little bit of cleaning up of the, the kind of pegs to go into the... Uh, the sockets but it worked quite nicely get a decent sense of the the scale of them in comparison to Varag the ghoul certainly looks agile the zombies look like they're going to fall apart at any minute the werewolves look fast and powerful the wraiths are spoopy the mummy although they're not technically mummies on the necromantic team flesh golems look Super powerful. Yeah, really, really impressed with those. The only models that I haven't had a, a go at sticking together are, I think I've got a skeleton or two somewhere, and but they're, they're pretty much the same as the, the zombies in terms of size. And there are some whites, or liches, as I think they're called in this. Um, but they've got capes and... Uh, I'm probably not going to stick those together properly. Let's see if I can find them though. There we go. There's one of the whites stuck together. Slightly taller than the werewolf. Let's uh, move Varag over next to him. Obviously the whites are on the undead team and they're the blockers. So they're absolutely dwarfed by the mummies. And to be fair, they're dwarfed by Varag as well, though they still look well armoured. Uh, I've blue tapped the centre of him so that I can access the cape when I'm painting it. To be fair, it's not super difficult to get to because actually there's a, there's a reasonable amount of space. But based on my experience painting these guys, ooh, the Canite Shadow Stalkers, I'm getting a little bit tired of having to deal with painting around capes. So, yeah, use my common sense on that one. But for the most part, all of the limbs and stuff on these models are nice and free and not overlapping. So I don't really think I'm going to have any huge issues. There's the head on that. And there's the cape on that. But otherwise, everything seems pretty damn accessible. And that's where the footage seems to have gone corrupt or whatever this is one of the reasons why i don't tend to do videos that involve anything except recording my face because i don't know how to do it and all i've got is an iphone to record this stuff on but thoughts about these miniatures really super impressed i've actually now put together the entire team it took me the entire afternoon but the probably the fiddliest things were the zombies in fact the fiddliest thing was the skeleton star player who who needed a little bit more cleaning up 
than the others. The the plugs, especially for the uh, the arms, weren't quite as clean as the other miniatures were. But generally speaking, super duper impressed with these. Would very much recommend the the purchase to anybody looking to get a an undead or a necromantic horror blood bowl team. And actually, I'm really sad in a way now that I didn't get the Tomb Kings uh, team as well. Although, you know, as I said, they're not exactly cheap. So maybe that would have been uh, a bad financial idea. Really looking forward to seeing what Panga do with the Chaos Dwarves and the Norse. The Norse and Lizardmen are probably the two teams that I've had the most success with. I was going to get Grebo's all-female kind of Norse team that technically started off as Amazons, I think, but they're kind of now being Norsified because there's a snow troll and stuff to go with them. But based on what I've seen of the, the Punga miniatures with this set, if they can do a nice kind of resin easy to put together Norse team I will be well up for that rather than having to deal with a an old slightly older at least metal sculpt from Grebo but yeah I'll uh, put a link down below to the the Punga store where you can see these all put together I haven't been able to find any real images of the teams painted up? And obviously, I haven't painted mine up yet. In fact, I haven't really got a clue how I'm going to paint them. And I do have to get these Shadow Stalkers and the terrain from the Warcry Catacombs box set sorted first before I can actually start painting them up. So I've got a chunk of time before that happens. Thank you all very much for watching. I know this is very different kind of content to what I normally put out on my channel, but as I said, just couldn't find anything on these miniatures online. And therefore, figured I'd make my own just in case other people have got the same kind of queries. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. Have yourselves a wonderful day, folks. Stay safe out there. And until next time, toodle pip. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.